Rosacea is something where it can make you look sunburned all the time or embarrassed. Therefore, people are constantly asking me, did you go away or are you sunburned, so, of that, things of that nature. Hi, Rosie. So we're all ready to get started with your intense pulse light treatment for your flushing and rosacea. And what we're hoping to do is to diminish some of that redness that you have. So Rosie, are you excited about your treatment? Yes. It's going to be great. As Dr. Bertucci mentioned, today we're targeting the reds in your face. This um, intense pulse light machine can target browns from sun damage okay. and red vessels from uh, rosacea and other sort of red skin conditions. But today we've set the machine for your rosacea. feels like hot elastic bands snapping on your face, but it's not that uncomfortable. Just for a quick second. Everyone wants to look younger than their years. We all search near and far for that quick fix. But what if the secret to youth could be found in the aisles of your local supermarket? Joey, are you suggesting in your book, The Natural Makeover Diet, that you can actually influence the way you look by the foods you eat? Definitely. And what I'm trying to tell people is if you cleanse and if you feed your body the right things, fruits, vegetables, essential fats, you can change your skin, your weight, the way you look, the way you feel. What are the top five foods that you need to have in your diet? There's more than five, of course, but if I were to pick top five, blueberries, rated number one antioxidant, um, tomatoes, fantastic, contain lycopene, wonderful for anti-cancer prevention, fantastic for skin. My right hand was badly damaged, my lower leg had been completely blown off. Chris Moon's courageous recovery from a landmine explosion taught him a lot about himself and the power of the human spirit. Now he's determined to teach others about the terrible effects of landmines in hopes that someday they can be eliminated from the planet. The only reason things have ever got better throughout history is because people have actively stood up and said, yes, this is wrong and we can make it better. We will make it better. It's not just harming um, the, the other side, which is bad enough, but it's harming the you know, civilians that live afterwards, and I think that, that's inhumane, basically. with a push-up. You're going to be teaching this to their clients, so you have to be able to do it yourself. Okay. Okay, so this is a push-up. Make sure you breathe, bring your chest right down to the bar, looking at the ground, and keep that stomach tight. Okay. Show me what you can do. All right. Is there any okay. specific place I'm supposed to put my feet, or that's okay? Just somewhere where you're comfortable, that looks about a good distance, okay. and bring your hands a little bit wider. Okay. Okay, remember, no pain, no gain. <laughs> okay. Okay, show me what you can do. Fantastic, <laughs> nice. All right, now we're gonna do a squat against a stability ball. Okay. So, remembering our posture, keep your chest up, your abs are tight. Okay. Okay, and breathing. Show me what you can do. Okay. We're gonna do 15 squats. <laughs> what are some of the misconceptions about being a personal trainer? Well, the obvious one is steroid use amongst the trainers. You used to think that you'd walk into a gym and your trainer would be some big muscle guy who was gonna break you in half, you know, <laughs> during the workout. Uh, but now it's more a trend towards the active lifestyle. How are your legs feeling? I'm feeling the burn. 
Jane Michelle runs a marketing communications firm. After having the same look for 20 years, she's looking for change. Oh, I'd really like a makeover because we're in the process of launching a new program and looking for funding with work. And I'd like to look as professional as the work that we do. Not only that, I'd like to get a date. It's been a long time. And I think that if I changed the way I looked and had a little sexier appearance, that maybe, just maybe, I might get one. To help Jane Michelle achieve her new look, we've hooked her up with a hip hairstylist and creative makeup artist who will help make her over. Robert, what are we looking to achieve with Jane Michelle today? Well, I want to start off by making her a classy but yet contemporary look. Our makeover is halfway through. Next step is the makeup. What ideas do you have for Jane Michelle? We're gonna keep it simple, so I think she can wear it to the office and then take it out for martinis. This could be a little sex in the city. I mean, it's Toronto fun, and it'll be just a nice dewy look. 